Hello, here we have a short note on loading one chart, one chart only, a single chart into QTVLM. And that's different than before. When you click these buttons up here, you're loading the whole set of charts that you put in with the chart folder, uh, which we've described elsewhere. There's your loading charts. Here we're loading one chart at a time. And you do it from in the Mac, you're, the menu is uh, under View, Single Chart. And notice it's Command K to open it and Option K to close it. And on the, uh, if you come to the PC over here under View, you see Single Chart. It's Control K and Alt K. So these are the two buttons to the left of the left of the space bar on both computers. And, and you can do this, you can load this single chart if you have your, have your whole set loaded, as I already have some charts loaded here, or not. Because once I load that single chart, it's going to override this. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to hit Command. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do Command-K. And then it's brought up something. I have to go in here and look. These are, uh, what are these? Let me go into Paololo Channel. And this is uh, ENC, uh, excuse me, the RNC, like the paper charts. Well, now here's the first thing of interest. There's two, we need the dot .cap file. So for the, for the RNCs, you want to choose the dot .cap file to use. But I see there's two of them. One's big and one's small. One's likely an insert. But I could do this. I could just hit this and just say OK for now. Because what it's going to do is makes a nice thumbnail of what we're seeing. So maybe that's what I want or maybe it's not. But let me try to figure out what that small one was, which was here. And I click it. Oh yeah, so sure enough, that's an insert. That's one of the inserts, one of the bays there. And that's not the one I want. I want to come back here and get this one and say OK. And so now, then if I push this, the fixing the header, you won't have to bother with that if we got official US charts. Um, but then you can show at nominal range, then that's going to take me to that part of the world. And that's a 1 to 80,000 chart. And that's what it did. It zoomed to that scale. I can always change that scale. Now, and then by the way, when you're looking at a single chart, you always see the, board, the, full, the full border. When we've got them quilted or we're looking at a full set of charts, we don't see that. You can always then, once you have a single chart, you can right click it, right click it, and just say chart information. And it'll tell you about the chart. Plus it tells you the units, it's fathoms, uh, the scale, and so forth. So that's a nice uh, feature of this program. Then to close this, you would just go, uh, that would be option K. And now we're back with no charts. Um, and one difference is, if I load this chart, if I load this chart and then close it, and then close it, then, uh, and I, I mean, I load the chart, and I'm looking at the single chart, and then I close the program, that chart will go away. I'll have to load it again the next time. Whereas when you're looking at one of your installed charts, and you close the program, it will reopen where you were. Let's do this one more time and look at uh, Command-K, Command-K. But this time, I want to look at one of the ENCs. Let me go up here, Paololo Channel. This must be the ENC. Now, with the ENC, you have to keep digging down here till you get to the zero, zero. So this one, the, the file you want to say OK to is the one that says zero, zero. That is the actual main chart. These others are text files describing the chart. And then you say OK. Again, you get a thumbnail. You get a thumbnail. Show at nominal range. And now I've got the, uh, the ENC chart for that area. And now if you right click and say, uh, I just wanted to show this one thing. You say show chart information. You see it shows the, uh, it won't necessarily show the units. And, and that's because ENCs are always in meters. We can change it in our display to show feet. But the native resolution, the native uh, sounding units here are going to be always meters. So they don't have to tell us that. And then, but then the scale is 180,000. Here's the thing that's interesting and we'll have another video on. It shows the depth contours that are in this chart. And that will become uh, of interest later on. All right, so that is the, uh, that is the process of loading a single chart.